What is up gamers and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus. We or Arceus, whatever you want to call it. Uh yeah, last episode, I mean, we kind of more took a chill approach to things. Uh obviously we're trying to get to four stars. Uh, we just did the time space distortions, I believe they're called. Uh one thing I will say, even though it felt like it took like 10 years, I did do a bit of grinding, finally managed to push up to four stars. Uh did get some few a uh, few surprises while we were along the way. Uh let me quickly go over here. The biggest surprise is actually in my party now, but uh, well, as you can see, it opened up just running around trying to level up all my things. Oh, you can see my uh, Snorlax down there. That is one of my surprises I got. But uh, yeah, uh, just running around. I just had a Bidoof, uh, a shiny Bidoof just show up, which was kind of cool. Uh, I mean, after watching the little mini, uh, mini, whatever it was, the Bidoof story, I love Bidoof. And the fact that it's my first actual shiny, give or take the Ponyta that was kind of given from a quest, yeah, it was kind of cool. Uh, but that being said, I did catch an Alpha Wurmple. It wasn't that hard. It wasn't anything special either. It's just there. Uh, but anyway, besides the point, I did get Magmorta. Did get Growlithe. Did get Ninetales. There's a few others I got. Can't remember what else I got. Oh, yeah. I got two different... Oh, yeah, I found Gyarados as well, which is kind of cool. I just found him swimming around. He scared the... Sh living life out of me i was not expecting him to come up behind me i have two one boy one girl just so i can get a glade and uh god of war but the real fun to my party is the snorlax because it's my alpha boy i actually i got i wanted to see how well i could hold up against the alpha he took out my entire team lucky weasel uh took a hit when i needed it and yeah, an Ultra Ball game. So we now have our first uh, Alpha on our team. And he's a, he's a big boy. I mean, you can kind of tell how big he is. I mean, this doesn't really count because he's tiny, but... Yeah, Snorlax is a big boy. He's also got close to 400 health or something like that. He's definitely a step up from just the normal... Uh, wait, does it... One sec, if I go here... Yeah, like, everyone else has got like 100, 100, 100, 100. Okay, that's 300. I was off by 100, but... Yeah, we got a uh, bulky boy now. He takes so many hits, it's glorious. Though, the only issue is, uh, he's caught at level 45. He's my strongest, but being at uh, three stars, it only obeys us up to level 40. So he doesn't like obeying, but luckily enough, we got to level three. Uh, we're getting to level four, so it helps us out a bit. But anyway, yes, have you made progress on your research tasks? If you have progress to report, I will judge its uh, worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. I'm at 91 caught now. Damn. Do you have any unknowns, though? I have no idea where they are. Hmm, you've made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a start. How many? Oh, there's 10. Wait, is it? Yeah, there's 10. I thought it was 8. Okay, we're not halfway then. With this, you have officially obtained the rank of 4th star of the Galaxy Expedition Team. You get leaden balls and up to level 50 so snorlax is finally going to be useful to us have these as well they are further recipes you'll need to craft leaden ball i mean i don't know who you are but we'll look at you wait we can make hyper potion that's actually i mean i think we're pretty much fine with super potions for the time being give or take snorlax snorlax will take a few of them continue to dedicate yourself to completing the pokedex if you hope to res uh, rise higher in the ranks your current rank qualifies you to conduct research in the Coronet Highlands, but you will need help from a particular person to survey the uh, ultimately uh, survey and ultimately quell this electrode. Go on, uh, go to the training grounds. You should find them there. I always want us to go to the training grounds. Yeah, when I stacked up on a bunch of resources yesterday, just running around. Also, I tried finding more distortion worlds. Did not find a single one of them. They just don't like showing up for me. Oh, it's this dude again. Guy looks familiar and I can't picture who he uh, who he reminds me of. Oh, there's Irida. Hello. This gentleman is Warden Ingo, who serves Sneasler. He will guide you to her domain. Who's Sneasler? Sneasel? Is this the name for it? 
Pleased to properly uh, meet you. I apologize for that abrupt, uh, abrupt. Oh my god, I cannot pronounce that. How do you do before? I'm the warden, in Ingo. I understand you'll need a hand uh, from Sneersler in order to meet Electrode. Whether she'll see fit to help you, however, we can only find out by making the journey. Now, let's go have a safe journey to Mount Coronet. All aboard. I, I want to know, he it's the jacket. The jacket reminds me of something. Ingo's a bit like you, you know. Like me. He appeared one day from who knows where. What's more, must, uh, much of his memory seems to be missing. Maybe traveling with uh, with you will help fill in some of the gaps in his memory. Maybe that's why he remembers me. If he has the same case as me, then it's probably from one of the other games. I just can't picture. I can't remember his name for the life of me. In any case, I'm glad to help, uh, have you help to count on once again, Phoenix. Good luck in the Highlands. So you do have plants growing, by the way. They finally started growing. I don't know if the first batch was bugged or not, but uh, now they're growing. Can't do anything with them, though, until they... I think... I don't know. I think they go by how long you spend in the... I have no idea. Because I, I do some missions and I come back and they're still growing, but other times like I'll sit there and they'll just get done themselves. So I don't really know what they do. They're just there. But yeah, at the moment, I, I grew a lot of apricot. Apricorns. Apricots. Apricorns. We have a lot of them. Now I'm just growing mints. Because I found out there's mints and I want to see how the mints work. Though they do cost 10,000 to uh, grow. So I'm hoping I get a few of them. I don't exactly know what to expect from them. Also, there is a shrine up there. Didn't realize that. There's a shrine. There you are, my boy. Welcome to the Coronet Highlands. I expect you'd find all sorts of rock types and ground type Pokemon wandering about these craggy boulder. Groon? Heights and up there, right beneath that great rift in space time, is the peak of Mount Coronet itself. The magnetism from it may well ex exert some sort of influence on the Pokemon throughout the area. Fascinating stuff. Uh, well, I've got a new area, so go. Look how big he is. It's absurd. Hey, look, it's a uh, mustache. Who's this? Uh, well, there's Lux Rays. Oh, I forgot to check what the balls were. Well, whatever. I'll find out later. Just a bunch of Lux Rays. Okay, we're going in the water. Wait. Can we avoid the water? Probably. Yanma. It's nothing new so far. Unfortunately. Who's that? No, still Yanma. Ah, we're just gonna run here. We can do some exploring in a bit. The electrode known as the Lord of the Hollow is somewhat different from the electrode I recall. But its electrical discharge, at least, are familiar. One false step around it could put you in danger. If you're if you're going to face it, you might consider catching Pokemon that can withstand electricity. It must be difficult being a Pokemon, uh, don't you think? Especially one as ir irritable as Electrode, then becoming frenzied to boot. So true. It's it's a tough old life for Pokemon and humans alike. Out oh, this, it's Melly, Melee or Melly, however you pronounce his name. Well, well, Warden Ingo of the Pearl Clan, and oh my, the Galaxy Team Grunt from before. You're punching well above your weight to seek out the Great Electrode, Hollow of the, uh, Lord of the Hollow. Hey, just because you're a giant does. Also, is this a boy or a girl? Maybe, I, like, I think it's a boy, but it does really remind me of a girl. I mean, it has long hair, I'm pretty sure it's wearing a dress. I don't know what it is. But by the sheer. Uh, tenderness of my heart, I'll grant you the trial to see if you're worthy. The greatest obstacle you will ever face awaits you right here. Battle me if you dare. Absolutely not. Hmm, well then, 
Let me tell you the great Melly's take on this whole situation. The frenzy of our nobles is nothing other than a mark of almighty sinner's favor to, uh, of protection. Why? Because it makes them stronger. Do I really need to spell out that that's a good thing? We must let my lord frenzy as it may to demonstrate to almighty sinner that the diamond clan lives as it right at uh, as is right and good. This may even be, dare I say, the very reason I'm here on this earth. Okay, so now, I feel like he's someone that doesn't go with the times. I mean, they said that Pearl and Diamond hate each other. Something tells me he's probably a part of that where he does not like Pearl. I could be wrong. I mean, you just see, he just gives off that kind of vibe. What business business is it for Team Gal uh, King Galaxy? Let me read that. What business is it of the galaxy teams anyway if Electro lets loose a few sparks out here in the mountains? Really, you should do us all a favor and sl uh, slink back home to that village of yours rather than pestering in this folly. And with that, bon voyage. Here's a what a selfish outlook. These frenzies cause the Pokemon themselves such suffering. But what is it you want to do, Phoenix? Press on. Very well. The track ahead will be perilous, but I pride myself on safe driving. To meet Sneer Sneersla, that's such a weird name to say, you must pass through here, Wayward Cave. Here you'll find Pokemon like Golbat and their Elk, Ilk, which are quite uh, quite at home navigating the in the dark. It's quite dim inside, so you'll need to watch your step. Don't tell me I need a flash. Gonna make me miserable if I need flash. Also, I want to see the map for this place. Uh, it's. Hey, oh, I can get rid of this. There's a lot of area around there. We're going in. Please don't tell me I have to walk in like a pitch black place. Oh, no, I can actually see. Don't worry. Oh, this is odd. The torches that lit the, lit the way through the cave are gone. Could this be merely attempting to abstract us? Either way, there's no need to con uh, need no need to, uh, for concern. I know my route, and I'll conduct us safely. No darkness nor foul weather uh, will delay us. Onwards we roll. Uh, take care not to come. Oh, let me finish that. I'm hoping there's new Pokemon in here. I recall faintly that I had a partner once, a precious one. His name escapes me, but I remember that it wielded flames with mastery. It only, if only it were here, I'm sure it would. I mean, I have a ponytail. That could light the way, right? I'm stuck. Please forgive the unscheduled stop. I detect an alpha crow, uh, crowbat in our right. Under normal circumstances, I doubt its presence would obstruct someone as competent as you. But given the poor visibility, I propose a track change in the in, uh, interest of safety. I, mean, I kind of want to chase it. One more alpha Pokemon. I mean, I got... Again, I got... Also, I did realize once you capture the alpha Pokemon, they do actually stay there. So I realized after I kind of want to see if I can try and uh, shiny on the Snorlax because the shiny Snorlax is pretty cool. Uh, I wasn't, I, I caught him, so I'll wait, maybe I shouldn't have. Uh, but after looking, it does actually appear. So if you do capture it, you can still go for the shiny, which I know I will just for the fun of it. This is fine progress. We'll, uh, we're nearly home free. Wait, could this be? Could those be? Oh, well, there's the torches. Let me put those torches back where they belong. This darkness could be perilous for the next person to pass through here. I beg your pardon for the delay. I have lit and returned the torches. My safety concerns have been addressed, ready for departure. If you follow the tracks marked by torches, you'll reach the terminus of this cave. Well, now we can go exploring. I'm gonna grab all these while I'm here. We need these. I mean, these make these make the other balls. 
Get some iron chunks too. I don't want to see what's in here. Let's go back. We need to go up there. That fish. Is that? Oh, it is. Oh, wait, there's one. Uh, well, there's a crow bat. Definitely don't want to go anywhere near. Wait, this is where we were before. I'll take this. 90 more. I wonder if I can capture it from here. I mean, this thing really didn't care for me. All right. Look at Snorlax with his big floaty. Takes absolutely no damage. You can get one more of that. It just doesn't do anything to him. You're an ass. You know what? Let's try and capture it. Yeah, I accidentally moved all my items. Found out there was a way I could sort them all by that, and I clicked and <laughs> kind of moved them all. I'm used to my poke wheel being right there. Well, that's annoying. Hmm. So much high horsepower does. I mean, it's not going to do anything, is it? I actually did. Try right again. New Pokemon, that's just why I want it. I don't even know if Pokeballs are going to do the. Yeah, Pokeballs don't do anything. Wait, it's still asleep. Excuse me? She's just a great ball. Stop it. The Great Ball can't catch it, I'm just gonna leave. Alright, there we go. Did you attack me while you were asleep? Excuse me? What is this? I should have made some more of these. It's fine. No, it really doesn't heal me up at all. You know what? Stop it. No, goodbye. I'm just gonna go straight up here. Oh, so there is a cliff there. Okay, we need a spot so we can rest up. Maybe, hopefully, try and make some. Actually, I don't think I have enough for super potions. Eh, we'll see. We've got one new Pokemon at least. So there's something. Professor Lovington told me how you fell to this land from the sky. For my part, I simply found myself one day here in Hisui, a region whose name I had never heard. Uh, all I could remember was my own name, and uh, I was still landing there in bafflement. I was still, yeah, still standing there in bafflement when the Pearl Clan came to my aid. I showed a natural affinity for taming Pokémon, which is why I eventually became a Warden, but still I, I wonder what my true purpose is here. Uh, but now I've sidetracked us with this talk. Let's hurry onwards. There's Heracross. Gonna be one of these annoying ass things, aren't isn't it? Oh, it's a Heracross. What's up? Aerial Ace. I'm just gonna do this, stuff it. I was not expecting a Heracross coming out of the tree. Ooh, sword dance. That could be a pain in the ass. <laughs> Is it running? Rude. Oh, they just don't like going to the balls, do they? I guess we'll try another great ball. If Pokeballs don't work, I think we're getting to the point where Pokeballs are going to be pretty useless at this point. 
Yeah. I think Pokeballs are extremely useless. They're good for early, but uh, yeah, at this point they're uh, unfortunately not good at all. Alright, there's just too many gold ducks around here. I will grab this though. That can make us more balls. Is there anything new? You know, so you're all the same. So nothing really new is around here, unfortunately. Paris is like in every zone. Heracross is in half the zones. Whatever that thing is. I forgot. Venomar? No, not Venomar. Not you. You're uh, I fear your name. What's your name? Uh. I actually forget what your name is. You're one of the bugs. So just Parasex and everything. What's the big idea? Put, put, uh, putting back all the torches, I spend ages tiding, uh, tiding away. Did you get some sort of amusement stomping around the ruins playing noble deeds? Deeds? Yeah. Oh, rendering a cave impassable uh, to people who venture inside hardly seems noble to me. Hmm, well, if that goes to show that even we wardens don't allow always see eye to eye. I don't know what to say allow. I extinguish those lights for the sake of the Pokemon in that cave who prefer the dark. But now you, you lo uh, louts have put my efforts to waste. If you think I'll just let you saunter ahead to meet Lord Electrode, you're s uh, sorely mistaken. The only way you're getting past me is if you defeat my partner Pokemon. How will you proceed? I'll beat him. Go scun. <laughs> of course, it's a scun tank. Show these louts the true meaning of silent but deadly. I always hated this Pokemon. This and Per Ugly. Not as much as I hate uh, Rattata and. What's it called? Of course, that happened. We have Snorlax. Snorlax is taking a bit of damage. I'll probably never go first, like ever. I'm just gonna use Flame Burst. If I can get a burn on it, it'll be glorious. I didn't get burnt by it. Oh, there we go. Hey, Ponyta actually solo did his own battle. Get a lot of got a lot of experience by Dan. Listen here, neither I nor Skuntank admit defeat just yet. Our challenge to you still stands. However, I will withdraw to afford Skuntank time to recover. There's no shame in a tactical retreat. It's more of an adva uh, advance if you think about it. Keep your guard up. We'll be back. This guy has some serious issues. What a lively character. Yeah, pretty much. I cannot fathom Warden Melly's intentions, but for now, let us pass on. Yeah, he's he's a little bit strange, I'm not gonna lie. He's not a little- Oh, look! That was all. Uh, I want to try and see if I can injure it. I mean, it's an interesting area. This is the ancient quarry. The stones used to build the temple atop this mountain were all cut from this place. Whether uh, whether by humans and Pokemon working as one, or by the labor of Pokemon alone, I cannot say. The stones that were left behind should serve to cover us from the glazes of wild Pokemon. Oh, there you go. Uh, there you are, Ingo. This guy just follows us everywhere. Guy's like full on stalking. Follow, was it? What, what is the matter, sir? I want to ask about that memory loss of yours. Have you can uh, cons considered that it could have something uh, somehow been caused by the space-time rift? I have no cause to think the rift is to blame, but then again, I hardly remember a thing, so it's difficult to say with certainty. I can't remember my own home, nor my family, if I had any. So you might do better to pose your questions to Phoenix, I think, if it's to do with that rift. 
Indeed. Well, I do hope your memories return, Warden Ingo. How about you then, Phoenix? Do you remember what you saw before you fell out of the rift? Was there anything inside? Maybe something? So Arceus. Arceus. I mean, I don't know how to pronounce it. People say it differently. I say Arceus just because I'm used to. That's what I've always said it. Even though I believe it's Arceus. Interesting. You see, personally, I suspect that whatever is on the other side of that rift is causing the strange lightning that plagues us. That makes sense. Indeed, I did some digging and found records indicating that this same space-time rift also appeared in Hisui in the distant past. That's why, uh, that's why we already have a name for it, as it appears. In fact, now, what kind of world do you suppose stretches out on the other side of the rift? My guess is that it is Almighty Sinnoh's realm. But then that begs the question, why has the space-time rift reopened when it closed once so long ago? And why would Phoenix have fallen through to us? There's just so much we don't know. I fervently hope you unravel this mystery, Volo. I'm sure it would ease people's fears over the frenzies of our nobles. And while you investigate, sir, I will continue to prioritize the safety of the people living in this world. Oh. I am a mere admirer of ruins and little uh, and little more. If something uh, needs investigating, then I would entrust that task to Phoenix. Until next time, then. My guy literally just follows us. <laughs> it just seems to be everywhere. Once we're through here, it, it will be just a little further. Let us move with speed and not haste. I wonder if I can just ninja one of these. I haven't really done much ninjuring them lately. I want to see if it turns around. There we go. Hopefully the crit. Crit throw. I call it crit throw. I don't think it particularly is a crit throw at all. Am I me? I'm not real. Unless there's a bronze on there. You're facing me. Oh well, now we have to fight. <sighs> of course it's Bronzong. Kill it. I know I can catch it. I'm just gonna try and do as much damage to it as possible. Hypnosis? Alright, I avoided it. Aqua jet it. Maybe. Let's see if we can get it. Just standing in my way. Come on, don't let me down. There we go. Now I've got two new Pokemon. Also, the grit dust. Finally, figured out what that does. I need a place where I can rest. I'm gonna grab these. It's Teliosa. Yeah, they're all Pokemon that we've seen. Also, it's so adorable. No, I no, no, don't want to target you. Look how adorable it is. It's running away. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. I uh, don't want to go. Okay, there's just an army of Earth Rings here and Lux Rays. Again, Shinx. Shinx, Luxio. Gonna keep running. Not safe being here at all, honestly. There's a quest. Is this Volo? Volo went the other way, but he's still here. Okay. Makes sense. Oh, that's not Volo at all. It looked like it. Ah, you're the you're part of the galaxy team. I've been waiting. I came here since I heard you all were planning to set up a camp But it seems not much progress has been made since the bronzong uh, bronzor is getting in the way It's not belled Belligerent I have no idea 
but it seems like it wants something so we can't just ignore it either please do you think you could find out what it what uh what it is bronzo wants i guess this is what we're gonna do because i do kind of want to camp so i can heal up my pokemon so we'll go over and check what it is Is there something over that way? I'm, I'm guessing it's a friend. Hmm? Yes, we're going in the water. There's Golduck again. We haven't really found again. Haven't found any new Pokemon. Give or take a few in the cave. Oh, oh, oh. Whatever. We'll take on Golduck. Just because it's not gonna let me go unless I do it. I just wanna kill it. Can't be bothered catching it. Why are they all why does everything have hypnosis around here? I'm doing it again. I'm not too fussed about catching it. I'm just trying to get to the bronze ore. Plus we all get experience, so it's not like it's the worst thing taking them out. You got a lot of experience, damn. I saw Bronzor go flying off in, the, in this dis distance all of a sudden. What in there? That Bronzor, it's wounded. This is no good at all. Here, I'll fix it right up. Yeah, that should do it. Bronzor should be fit as a fiddle now. Seems the Bronzor at the new campsite was looking for its friend this whole time. I'm glad you looked into it, otherwise we may have been too late to treat this Bronzor. This land is dangerous, even for Pokemon that call it their home. It may be wise to be extra prepared as you explore this area. I'll be sure to keep a fine lineup of wares stocked for you, so please buy anything that you need. Ah, and it seems the base camp has been all, uh, been all set up while we were talking in that case, in which case I should be settled in as well. So, well now we have a camp, hopefully I can heal. New base camp, there we go. What else is here? There's a bunch of carnivines also everywhere as well. My duck. Oh. I'm gonna do this. I just wanted to heal up. Also, I want to see why I'm here because I want to check this before. I'll lead them. Okay, so I can make them. They're the bigger up balls. Okay. Put you back on 40. Put you back on 10. Dear, I need some more sky tunnel. Wait, what do we need? That's hyper potion. Wait two. Wait, I can make extra. Don't worry. Put five on you. You on twenty. I need a few of those. I'm not on vibes. Ah, you're fine on five for the time being. All right. Now we're going to be a little bit better off. <laughs> it's so big. It is absurd how big uh, the Alpha Snorlax gets. Oh, Bronzor over there. A Bronzong, whatever it's called. You would never expect to be able to climb such sheer cliffs as these, yes? But with Sneezer as an ally, it uh, becomes the work of a moment. I think I definitely just made my own words on that. She is so at home on the on the cliff face, one might think she knew uh, some secrets, some hidden move. What I'm saying, uh, what I, what am I saying? Hidden moves, there are no such thing in Hisui, surely. Yet I feel as though I, w I was on the cris cusp 
of remembering something just now. Just who was I before I came to Sui? As you fell from the sky, you come from another world altogether, most likely. Perhaps a Pokemon battle with you would jog this mem uh, memory last. Would you honor me with the battle? Sure. Well, we've got Snorlax going on first. Thank God it obeys me. All aboard the Machoke Express for departure. Okay. Wait, it's just all of a sudden started raining. Gonna make you Machoke on that ass. Goodbye, my friend. Wait, does this... I don't... I want to see if this does any damage to it. Yeah, a little bit of damage. It's, I mean, it's just killing itself at this point. Goodbye. Oh, wait, you have three Pokemon, don't worry. Tangula. Let's use a stronger Zen Heba. I want to see how much much will do. I'm just not going to switch. I'm just going to let Snorlax go down. So I'd rather not switch into uh, what's it called Pony Time. Just let it take free damage for no reason. There we go. All right. What's next? Oh, I score. Yeah. Oh, that one coming. Yeah, let's just summer up. It does look really cool. I want a giant one. You survived. That obscure, whatever it is. All right, we win. Battle just signed in. Bravo, excellent. Got two thousand, three thousand. Oh my god! Your talent has brought you to the destination called Victory. My guy looks like he hasn't slept. Oh, I was gonna say he doesn't blink. He just blinked. Now allow me to recall Sneer Sneerla. Wait, we're getting another mount thing we can ride. Is this Sneasel? That's all I just think of. Not Sneasel. That's a long line of Sneasel. I guess it's wait. Wait, I think it has a. I think it's the Hisuian version. Oh, obviously, it's not the original Sneasel. Allow me to introduce you, Phoenix. This King uh, Clawed Pokemon is Sneasler. Would you be so kind as to play your flute for her to hear? Wait, am I just gonna ride on his back? Sneasler opened her heart and learned well the sound of your playing. Oh, I've got a toxic plate. Hey, we're slowly getting all the plates. I don't, how many do we have now? I've already forgotten. I'm afraid this is my final stop. Please proceed up the cliffs with Sneasler. Aid and quell the Lord up at the mountains. I will return to Jubilee Village. Please convey my wi uh, well wish to Warden Melly. Now then, all aboard. All right, we're gonna go run back and heal again quickly. You get shoved in a box? Excuse me? I'd much prefer a piggyback <laughs> being shoved in the box. You can now climb up, uh, climb up and down cliff ledges and other sheer surfaces with Sneezler's sne aid. I can't pronounce that name at all. 
We're gonna get Snorlax back. I mean, most of my team's gonna absolutely suck against Voltorb. Like, horribly. I'm just gonna sleep till morning. I think it's going evening. It's gonna be rough. I have three Pokemon that are just probably gonna get one shot. The only ones I worry are probably Luxray and Snorlax. They might survive a hit. Also, now I can climb things. The gut, I can. Nope. There it is. I'm in a box. We're gonna climb though, damn. <laughs> Just running around as a Pokemon. I mean, it climbs up the rock face pretty well, damn. It's just strutting its way up. Oh, Glyscore. Hey. I'm not Glyscore. Gliger. Catch. Hey, got Gliger. Well, we finally found a new Pokemon. Ah, I guess we're going back up. Oh, I could just follow this path. One sec. Okay, it's probably just more Gligas. Eight climb. This actually comes in handy now. I don't have to worry about the stupid reindeer not being able to climb anything. Can it sprint? No, I cannot. Anything new here? <gasps> Is that Magneton? Or Magnezone or whatever it's called. <laughs> that didn't work. I wanted to see if I could catch it. It was a waste of a Pokeball, but oh I want it. It's a new Pokemon, but I, I can't capture it. I don't know how to get things that are flying I mean, I have a feather ball or whatever it's called Got one given to me before <gasps> My child I will add you to my team if I can get you I need my child. Come on. I don't know who I'll replace you for, but I'll add you to my team for sure. Uh, I'm gonna need like a gray ball for it, aren't I? I wanna kill it. Damn it. I should have gone agility. All right, well, it's fine. Agile, agility, whatever it's called. It's fine. I'm sure we'll find another one. Oh, okay. Speaking of another one, there's one right here. Grab those two so I can make some more balls. Whoa. Gibble and Gabite. I could get a big, a big boy. Big boy Garchomp. There we go, we got Gibble. Kind of nervous of that thing though, not gonna lie. Just run for your life. <laughs> now just definitely run for your life. Yeah, now try and come up here. Dumb land shark. Zuda Wudo. This is Dialga. Statue of. Not actual Dialga. Nose pass. We can try. The new Pokemon, I mean, why not? Oh, it's Pelkia statue too. <laughs> okay, that really wasn't that hard to catch. Still 39, I mean, it's. What's this? There's a chest here. Getting okay, great balls. There is a dog freaking out outside. There's another chest, but I know there's something inside of it. I don't really care for what's inside of it. Sneasel again. I'm not Sneasel, so do we do. Tiger. My sign to get out of here because 
So he's looking at me. Graveler. Oh. Another Luxray. Alpha. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Oh, I'm this way. Oh, Rhyhorn. Now we're starting to get to some newer Pokemon. It's just looking at me. Oh, sorry. Okay, you know what? I'm going to catch you. I want Rhyperia. I love... Excuse me? 54 my ass? What am I doing here? This is, uh... Definition of, uh, suicidal for me. Ah, but we're going to do it anyway. If I can catch it, it's going to be strong for my team, though. It's going to not obey me. you out if I catch it it'll be my strongest Pokemon but at the same time it's uh I'm gonna use great ball I don't think a Pokeball is gonna capture this for the life of it yeah I didn't think that was gonna capture but I tried I guess we'll top it up let's go ultra ball can the ultra ball do it Not even the Ultra Ball can catch the damn thing. It knows Giga Impact. Uh-huh. Of course you do. I know this is true. I need to try and paralyze it if I can. I don't know if I can paralyze it, but I'm gonna try anyway. Not you. Yeah, okay, didn't think I would. I wanted to try seeing things in this game seem to be out of whack. I thought maybe I could get away with it. No, I could not. Okay, let's try a Pokeball. Ultra Ball failed and Great Ball failed. Let's see if the Pokeball is strong enough to... <laughs> We're not going to be able to beat this. I'm going to have to come back when I'm stronger. My guy needs to chill with Giga Impact though. Being spanned by Giga Impact. <laughs> you are absolutely tiny. You got this. Oh, wait. We got a lower. I'm just determined to capture it, honestly. I'm going back to Great Bowl. Come on, give me this level 54. All right, I'm just gonna leave. I, I'm just wasting Pokeballs for no reason here. I'm not gonna ever catch this thing. It killed itself anyway. Wasted so many Pokeballs for no reason. I got experience, I guess. I mean, it's something. Well, now I realized probably shouldn't have done that because now I don't have any Pokemon to fight it with. Uh, <laughs> the camp's all the way back there. Uh, I have screwed myself. And we'll see. We'll see what happens. You know what? I'll be back in a few seconds. I'm going to quickly run back down. I'm going to heal my Pokemon and I'll come back up here. All right, we are back. Uh, what I will say. I don't know how I missed it before, but I actually ran into a Hisuian Voltorb. Voltorb? Whatever one the little one is. Caught it a lot easier than I thought I would. Welcome to Moonview Arena, the seat of Lord Electrode. I know you're not exactly being... Uh, I know I've not exactly been supportive of you reaching this place, but a part of me did hope you'd make it. Call me contradictory, or all, all you like. Galaxy Grunt? He has issues. He's got like daddy issues. 
but such is life embracing the complexity of both ourselves and the world we can only ho uh, help us grow as a member of the diamond clan my highest calling is to please almighty Sinnoh and right now that means I must protect my lord by stopping you where you stand if you stand, uh, still wish to defeat me and gain entry to Electrode's seat, you and your little Pokemon are welcome to give it a, your best. I'm gonna be honest. My Snorlax is bigger than you and your Skuntang combined, so I don't know what you're calling little. Snorlax is the furthest thing from little. Uh, let's, let's go, Skuntank. Give them another whiff of your silent deadliness. I changed my Pokemon around this time. Put Ponyta just so we can do the same as last time, just two shot it. Unless it's just magically. Oh, he's got three Pokemon out at once. My guy trying to cheat, I see. I mean, I did as much damage to it as I could. It's gonna be rough in a 3v1, but I can manage. Get Lux right in. D does Hypnosis even work in this game? I've seen it miss every single turn so far. Go. Bite him. There we go. One's down. Vanish. Oh, well, you're going to. Oh, we avoided it. You did nothing to me. Venoshock, of course. Who do we target? Okay, we're going. Wait, are we going for. Oh, of course we missed. It's not what we wanted at all. You deserve to go down for missing. I'm not sorry. To you. That's the first time I've seen it land. Semi grows drowsy. Wait, I wanna. Too drowsy to move. Hey, my ass. You're too drowsy to. I'm gonna. God, Zubat is annoying. It's just obnoxious because he puts me to sleep and then they get like 30 turns each and then I get my turn but then I'm always asleep and then they get another 30 turns and then I get my turn and I'm asleep again like fuck off this is why this is why Zubat is my least favorite Pokemon uh, next to Rattata I hate Zubat I wish this Pokemon would go extinct get out of my sight you disgusting butt cannot stand you i think the thing oh i almost doing that the reason i hate so much it's literally in, like yes the pokemon get cut every like from now on like they're never gonna all be in the game but zubat somehow makes it into every single game i don't like i cannot stand it it's in every cave it's just, every team galactic member has one like <laughs> i just cannot stand that one pokemon it needs to be extinct. I hate it. It's it's such a garbage ass Pokemon. It does nothing. It's ugly looking. Uh, I'll pick Golbat over it. Golbat is way superior to uh, Zubat. I know. I just it's one of my most hated Pokemon ever, next to Rattata. And why not? But why not? Not because I hate it. I just oh I hate it, but for a different reason. It's screwed over so many of my. Uh, like when I've done non Nuzlocks in the past, it screwed me over because it, it hits that point where uh, you can only be locked on one move or something like that, or you can't escape from it or something. I can't remember what it is. And every time it kills me because it locks me into something that doesn't, uh, like it, I can't damage it and it just kills me. It's happened about like, I think in the total of like six of my Nuzlocks. Like, don't get me wrong, I love Why Not, but I hate it for the purpose that it's cucked me over so many times. Why Not is adorable otherwise. Zubat and, Zubat and that, I just, they're not cute, they're just ugly. Anyway, 
Well, let's make one thing clear. I didn't lose. You may have won, but there's a difference. You tried cheating and you still lost. I just lacked uh, time. Yes, I'm afraid there simply wasn't enough time for me to raise my Pokemon nice and strong. Uh, could this be why Adamant is always going on and on about time being a, a precious thing? My lord, the Diamond Clan and Almighty Sinnoh truly are never-ending font? Founts? Wisdom. Yes, yes, I know what comes next. You want to know what pleases Lord Electrode so you can make some bombs for it. Well, I'm afraid I won't be able to help you because I have completely forgotten what Electrode likes. Wait, this guy does everything to worship it and yet he doesn't remember? What's the matter? Upset? Too bad. Anger doesn't make bombs. Melly's really giving you the runaround, Disney Phoenix. Ah! Now you're fucked, asshole. I guess it's my fault for not telling you in advance what Electrode likes. So here's the... Oh, he mad. What now? I could hear you just now. You know, are you really going to tell this little noodle what he needs to find just like that? Well, at least, uh, lest we all forget, you're the leader of the Diamond Clan. Why do you bother with these galaxy louts? Use your eyes, Melly. Haven't you even looked at your frenzied lord? Don't you feel even a twinge? at how it suffers, fighting to control the energy that's bursting out of it. I see nothing but a Pokemon overcoming with joy at being all, um, uh, among Almighty Sinnoh's chosen ones. Anyway, it's not like trials and suffering are always cause for doom and gloom. These things exist to help us grow. I'm sorry, Melly, I can't write off these frenzies as some trial for Almighty Sinnoh. That's why I'm doing my best, uh, the best I can to help out Phoenix here. This is the biggest, uh, this is bigger than what team or clan we belong to. Oh, and by the way, I wasn't just going to tell him that he needs crunchy salt. I was going to go right ahead and give it to him. Now, it's time to make some bombs, so lend a hand, both of you. He's a big bit. He really does remind me of the giant from X and Y, but I forget his name. I keep I keep going back to N, but N's the green hand kid. Oh, dude. Fine. At the end of the day, let none say that the great Melly sh uh, sh 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 uh, I, I don't give. Uh, his duty as warden. I'll help make your precious bombs. Shirked. Shirked. I can never pronounce these words. There, I made you a... Uh, Practically infinite supply of bombs, so chuck all you like at Electrode. But don't underestimate Lord's strength. I very much doubt the likes of you can quell it. Alright, well anyway, I think we're gonna... <laughs> we, we, I'm missing two Pokemon. It's fine. But yeah, we're gonna leave this off here. We're gonna pick this up again tomorrow. We're gonna jump straight into uh, fighting the... Uh... Oh wait, we've got three po... Wait. Okay, we've got three down. That's gonna be a little bit more of annoying. I should have made some more revives when I, uh, before. It's fine. Oh, but yeah, anyway, we're going to pick this up again tomorrow. We're going to jump straight into fighting Electrode. We're going to see how it goes. We're going to take on our fourth uh, Noble Pokemon. But yeah, we got quite a few. We actually did quite a bit today. We didn't get as many new Pokemon as I liked, considering we're in a new region, new area. I mean, there's a lot of stuff over here. What's this? Stone, stone portal, stone portal. There's some stuff over here I kind of want to check out. Maywood Cave. Well, now we can climb. Yeah, we'll definitely try out some of these places because we can probably get over there. But yeah, anyway. Uh, so does that mean we got shoved in a bag, a box? Also, I found out I can climb trees. <laughs> well, this isn't a tree, but I can climb one there. I want to see if I can climb this. I actually can. Oh, well, there we go. You can actually climb literally anything that has a surface. Anyway, that being said, I'll be back again tomorrow. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell, normal videos go live. And until next time, take care and peace out.